All right, so here we are at my website, the theschoolofpodcasting.com. I just want to show you how this is going to work. I'm on the join page, and this is where people are either going to join or they're going to leave. Um, and so if I close this, I get this screen. Hey, do you want to do this? Blah, blah, blah. Click OK to continue. Cl cancel to stay on the page. So I click on cancel, and here comes my friend uh, Josh. Gives me all this stuff. So if I go, you know, where are the widgets? And I should even leave that typo in there. We'll do that. Where are the widgets? He's telling me to sign up now, things like that. You can set how quickly he does that. So I type in where are the widgets. Josh is now typing. And of course, Josh isn't going to have an idea. Sorry, but I can't find an answer. Oh, good. I'm trying to... <laughs> can't find an answer to your question. Please rephrase this. And uh, your question, you can also leave your question as toll-free voicemail. And I go, you know, Josh, you suck. And uh, I've already programmed it in there that if it says the word suck, Josh should come back and say, but that wasn't very nice. Yeah, why not take advantage of our discount? Now I'm going to go, if I click on this, go ahead and sign up. There's my sign up page. So that's what it does. Now let me show you, and I can say, I, I can, uh, if I want to, I can put my name in here, my email, click on submit. That'll automatically add them to my list. And uh, sometimes I also get Jenny. I have Jenny and Josh, and I'll show you. Are you sure to close the chat? Okay. So here, let me log in now to my account. And this is what I like about it. Very easy. I can go down here the last 10 days. Now, I've had this on my site for about four days. And you can see I've had uh, 90 page views, 63 initiated. That means how many times did it go up? 13 times people have chatted back. Uh, I've had two click-throughs. Of course, one of those was just me. And I've had somebody put in their email. So my opt-in rate is 2%. My click-through rate is 3%. Pretty interesting. Now, um, earn cash, you can have, there's an affiliate program for this. Uh, I can go to statistics if I want to, like just today. Let me, I can look at page views, emails. I'll generate the report. And I can see that this page has been seen five times. Again, right now, I don't have it on the front page. I just have it on the join page. I'm just playing with it. And then uh, how many times was it initiated? I've had two people chat, and I've had one person click on it. And you can see here I had two clicks. So stats display completely. You know, you can have it on a test mode if you don't want it to log everything. Here's their affiliate program. What color is the background window? What color is the border? What color is the caption? When this comes up. And then uh, if you want to have custom HTML, if you wanted to put like a talking box, in there, some sort of audio, you could do that. Here, I'm using an AWeber subscription form, so they're signing up for my page. And then how big is it? And then uh, the expert, the, I'm sorry, not the expert, the exit message, I can change that. Here, chat only appears on exit, not when people go to links. That's this here. If there's a form, you can actually have it, don't display at all. It's, it's only uh, available on a click-through. And do you want it to display every time or every hour? So very customizable on how it looks. And then you saw how um, the auto response timing and the initial message was seven seconds. I could have had him wait a little longer in between each one after that. And then if somebody chats with me, I'll actually get an email saying, I understand you had chat with my virtual friend, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And uh, except I should probably take out this uh, typo personal podcast coach, um, and I'm going to save my changes. Now, um, agents, you can pick, uh, there are a bunch here. I, I, I use Jenny and Josh, um, or you can have none if you don't want one. And you can see uh, Jenny's had seven. So again, you can actually check who's more, who gets a better rate, Josh or Jenny. Uh, right now, Jenny is. So if Josh doesn't perform, he's out of there. The messages. These are all these pre-made things that Josh says when he came up. And then here are all the ones I've added. So you can see uh, down here, somewhere I have the word suck. Yeah, here's all the nasty words. And I have, that. now that's not a very nice thing to say. So if you go over and say that to my, here's suck. Why would you say such a thing? So what's great about this, so if somebody sends a message and you can't answer it, I'm going to skip over here from messages to unanswered. And I can see, not given, where are the widgets? So now I can go in 
and I can look at this actual chat log of what this person said and update my messages. And that will actually email me under unanswered. That will email, and here's the message, what happens if they can't answer it. And that's going to email me that, hey, somebody asked a question and you couldn't answer it. I can look at all the chats from today. So uh, here, Josh had a chat earlier today. Um, if I say uh, the last seven days, let's see how many chats we've had. Yeah, that's the only two. I think I've deleted them. and coming in and deleting them. Um, the system, just, uh, you know, this will, you can export everything. You can back up your system so you don't, if, just to be safe. Uh, chats, we just looked at those. Links. Now, what links are, are, I've got a couple here. Click here. here. If somebody wants to take a tour, they can do that. Um, sign up now is one of the ones we just clicked. Comments from members. So if somebody wants to look at the testimonials, that's one of the messages I say. So um, let's say I want to make a, a thing for take a tour for Josh. I could come over here to messages and say I want to add a new Im initial message. And I could say if you want to sneak a peek at the School of Podcasting. And I can say, put this link in, tour. And I'll add that new message. And then here, if I want that, I can move this up. And that would be good. So now, what does that mean? That means under links, it's going to say, take a tour on that message. Now, the other cool thing about this is the fact that I just have one campaign. I could create a new campaign and put that on a different website. So yes, you can have the script installed on one website, but have multiple campaigns for all your other websites and have those run off this one website. So I've just got one, the SOP order page. Again, I'm just kind of playing with this. So that I think is very powerful. And then if you go under help, there are a ton of tutorials that will show you how to use the system. So very, very cool, very great way to just, it, to me, it's the, the combining of a frequently asked question script and live help. The big key is you don't want to try to trick your visitors into thinking that this is a live person because they're going to figure it out real quick that it's not. So, and if you really think it through, you can take a lot of the coldness of not being a person that you, you can make this virtual agent seem fairly human. If you take a lot of time to get into your messages, think about what people are going to ask, and then really try to add an extra oomph to the message that in the event they can't answer it, what can they do? And it takes two seconds to add a message. You saw me add the one. So uh, at this point, I'll go ahead and take you over if you want to go check out the website.